know, how you be comfortable. And you be able to stretch, you know. <laughs> Hey beauties. Hey bestie, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna try and hurry up and get this done as quick as possible because the sun is going down. But for those of you who don't know me, I am Brittany, aka Blind Beauty. Yes, I am blind. I'm 95% blind because of my birth control. I do have a video talking about that on here. But today's video is about these clothes. So, if you follow my TikTok, you know that I will be starting a new job the first of the month, okay? And I went in my closet to find stuff to wear for work, and I was like, oh no, I dress way too sexy for work. I literally had nothing that said work, you know, nothing that was like giving work. So I went on Shein and I ordered some clothes that would be considered work appropriate. Um, I am going to be working in the school system with autistic children, so it'll probably be a lot of like slacks, pants. If I wear a skirt, it's going to be long. Um, flat shoes. I would love to be in a environment where I can wear heels to work, you know, and sit behind a desk and tic tac, but my computer skills are shit. So, <laughs> um, I ordered a few pieces from Shein, of course. This whole haul will be Shein. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we get into it, are you subscribed? Because my subscriber count is really suffering, okay? It's suffering, but I'm trying to get out of this work life, okay? Y'all got me out here going back to work. I'm working backwards here. Help me out here. Subscribe, like the video, comment something, please. Okay, so this is the first outfit. Um, it's giving very much, I went up too many sizes. <laughs> um, I could make it work. Like I got the sleeves scrunched up, but this is um this tan shirt. Um, it was like, I never remember to write down the names my clock is very rude and it decided to go off in the middle of my sentence. But I never remember to write down the names of the clothes. I didn't remember to do that. But I saw this shirt and I was like, it's giving very much like cozy winter vibes. Like I like wearing it all scrunched up like this, you know. Um, and these pants, I definitely could have went down the side. I went by the size chart. I don't know why the clothes are too big. The size chart said this was my size, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go with the baggy. I'm gonna we're gonna lean into the bagginess because I am gonna be working with kids and you know I need to be comfortable and be able to do the bend down. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Uh, let me finish describing the shirt. <laughs> I got sidetracked. So it's a tan long sleeve shirt. It has this cute little pocket on the top left hand corner. It is V neck and it has these like slits on the side here and um. It's really just like for comfort. Like, you know, it's about to be fall. You know, you're about to be wearing your boots, walking around with your coffee, you know, your jeans on, giving very much comfortable. That's why I picked this shirt. These pants, I might, I probably wouldn't wear them with this shirt. I just ran to the wall. <laughs> I probably wouldn't wear them with this shirt, but um, they have this scrunchy like elastic at the top. They are wide-legged. Um, they are black, of course. Um, I feel like all of my bottoms are black because I feel like my butt is just too big for all those bright colors. <laughs> but um, this is it from the back. It's just like flows, you know? Um, I also got these because of, it's a hair, y'all, hold on. I also got these because I feel like they would be comfortable. Um, I probably would wear a shirt with it that took me in in the waist a little bit more, you know, like, I don't know, something like, you know, because I mean, just because I'm at work doesn't mean I don't still want to be sexy, you know, because I'm trying to have somebody's daddy leaving letters in their, in their child's lunchbox, talking about make sure you give Miss Ellis this letter, make sure she get it. I ain't going to accept it though, but it'll be flattering. I had to crack the door open because it's getting hot up in here. 
Now, I will not be wearing these two all black pieces together, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna wear them together. So, um, I got this puff sleeve top, and I thought it's long sleeve um, black. Um, the sleeves are like this, um, what kind of, a, I don't wanna say like polyester, I don't, I don't really know the material, but let me get closer. Maybe if I get closer, y'all can see it. I wouldn't be able to see it, but I'm pretty sure y'all can because y'all eyes work. But, and in the middle of it is this stretchy material. I like it. It's pretty comfortable. Um, so, I'm seeing early on in this haul that their size guide is a little off because I could have def definitely went down a size in this top. Let me pull it up. I could have definitely went down a size. It's like definitely giving me a Um... I picked my, I went by my measurements and I picked my size. So I'm guessing she in runs big, which what, when did y'all start doing that? Cause normally it's normal for me to go up a size with them because you know, Chinese um, companies, like their sizes run small typically. So I don't know, but this is the top. Um, it has these cuffs around the bottom of the sleeve. Also made in the same material that the part of the shirt. I'm sorry y'all, my phone, I forgot to cut the voiceover off and it just kept talking. But, um, and I keep getting hair in my face, y'all. She's, get it together, sis. But yeah, um, I was saying the cuffs on this shirt are the same material as the middle here. And um, moving on to the skirt, I love this skirt. It is, I could've went down a size in it. Like I, I'm probably been saying that through this whole haul. Cause like, I feel like it just, I don't know. But um, I saw this on the website, right? And um, it was only in the street sizes. And I was like, oh, like, but I know, you know what I'm saying? Is she in? They always come through for your girl. So they finally put the plus sizes up there and I had to get it. Oh, I'm forgetting to tell you guys the sizes. Um, the size of this top is a 3X. Um, I normally wear two, but I went up a size thinking that the sleeves wouldn't fit me because I have a hard time with sleeves fitting and they're they're, they're fine I can make it work I can make it work because baby I'm not in the business of returning stuff I don't like returning stuff it's too much but um also this skirt is in a I want to say a 3x why I did that I don't know because I know I don't normally ever buy bottoms in a 3x because i know that they're going to be stretchy like nine times out of ten they're stretchy i don't know what i was thinking y'all in my mind i'd be bigger than what i actually am so but this skirt is really comfortable it is the um i had went in the search and i typed in mermaid skirt and um this was like one of the first ones that popped up the girl had on like a white crop top and white tennis shoes with it and i just thought it was too die for I plan on doing like the same aesthetic with it. Like I said, I just put this shirt on with it just to have some bottoms to wear with this top in the in this haul. But um, I want to wear like a crop top, some Chuck Taylors with it. Um, I probably post some pictures over on my Instagram when I do wear it. It would be really cute, and I figured it would be great for work because um, the like I could wear the tennis shoes, and you know it's still a long skirt. I can still run around in it. You know, it's stretchy. I could bend down and stuff and chase out the children. And I could still wear tennis shoes with it, you know. I'm the type of girl that likes to, you know, I can dress anything up or down, like, you know. So, I could do that with this skirt. It's very versatile. Here's the back of the skirt. Um, Yeah, I love it. It has this elastic band around the top, which I love to help cinch the waist in. It's very comfortable. I feel like I'm gonna really like this skirt. I feel like I'm probably gonna live in this skirt, you know? I probably wear it to more than just work. <laughs> um, also, like the top, same thing, like, it's very work professional, you know? Like, I feel like this leaves it classy because I feel like just because I'm at work doesn't mean I can't be um, sexy but professional at the same time. Like, I'm still covered, okay? You can't see anything, my boobs aren't out, nothing like that. No stomach out, um, no back, nothing like that. But it's still giving, you know, fashionable. It's still giving classy. It's still giving sexy, you know? 
Um, with this top, I probably wear. Mmm. Ow. I probably wear like jeans because my job, I'm allowed to wear jeans because I will be working with children. So I probably wear um like some high waisted um light wash denim jeans with this top and probably like tuck it in and then um. I would probably find some like cute boots to wear with, like maybe a boot with like a small heel or um, I could find a flat boot, you know, cause in the winter time, the fashion boots are like the thing, you know, like the thigh high boots, the knee high boots, the ones that scrunch with the buckles, I probably wear with boots or something like that. And like a cute hat, like imagine like a cute hat with a brim sitting on top of my head. I had one, but I had to throw it away because it did not fit. I did not realize my head was that big. Don't judge me, judge your mother. Moving on to the next piece. This next piece is this top that I, I was about to say that I got from Shein, but at this point y'all know I got it from Shein, like the whole, anyway. So, <laughs> um, it's long sleeve again because fall, I'm in here in Baltimore, it gets very cold. And um, I just wanna be prepared for that because it tends to be really cold inside of office buildings and things of that nature. So yeah, um, this shirt, it's a crop top, it's knitted. I tucked it in because I feel like it just looked better like this. This is the same skirt that I just had on, but I tucked it in because I just feel like it gives more tucked in. But um, I'm gonna bring it, pull it out so y'all can see. So again, it's too big because it's definitely supposed to be cropped and I feel like cropped is supposed to be like up here somewhere but it's okay because I need to be covered for work anyway I feel like part of the reason why I went up a size and everything is because I wanted to make sure that it was loose enough to be around children I think that's where my mind was I think I was like you know what I can't be wearing tight clothes with these kids all day but um, it has this color block pattern on the front. It is um, white at the bottom, tan in the middle, black at the top. I had to make sure this was the color I thought it was because y'all know blind. My colors be all over the place because at first it was given orange. I feel like it's like a caramel. Come closer so y'all can see. I feel like it's like a caramel type color. Yeah. But um, it's a knit top. I keep running into that wall. <laughs> um, yeah, let me show you guys the back. Okay, it's long in the back. I feel like this will also be cute with some jeans or slacks. Um, I saw some really cute slacks on Shein that I'm gonna go back and get. That had like the um, like the detailing down the front of the legs, like that piping. And I thought they were really cute to go with this top, and they were like. They weren't very super wide leg, but they were like, you know, just a little wide leg. But that's for another haul. I don't really have much to say about this shirt. Just that it's cute, it's comfortable. I can move around in it. Um, I can bend over without showing all my goodies. And perfect, it's perfect. So this is the last piece. It is this plaid flannel. But what I love about this one is that half of it is black and white plaid and the other half is solid black. I don't know. I saw this on the website and I was like, gotta have it. It's super cute. I saw another one that's long all the way down to the floor, like a cardigan type. That'll be in the next haul too. <laughs> but um, of course, it's too big again. But again, I think I want it big. I want it big so that I have room. Um, also, this shirt, I can do more than just this. This is just like the plain way. Of course, I'd probably be wearing this with jeans. Um, or maybe I could throw it on with some joggers. Or I, maybe I could put um, a t-shirt underneath, put some joggers on, and throw this, wrap this around my waist. Like, there's so many things that I can do with this. You always have to have a good flannel in your closet at all times it's a must okay it's a necessary absolute must because i could take this and unbutton it which i'm about to do right now i can unbutton it up to here unbutton from the bottom I'm trying to do this without showing y'all all my goodies from the bottom we could take this piece here 
and tie this up, honey, okay? You picking up what I'm putting down, okay? You catching the vibes? Like, it's not, like, perfect, like, exactly how I would wear it. But, like, you know, I could put a cute jumper underneath and wear it like this over top or just wear this as a crop top. Girl, it's limitless, okay? Okay, it's timeless. Ooh, I get excited about flannels. I love a good flannel. I'm definitely probably going to pick up a bunch more flannels because I see this season, flannel was in. See, now, flannel was never out or, like, plaid flannels and stuff. Like, they were never out, but this this season, this fall, it's everywhere. Like, everybody's selling these plaid, 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 and I'm kind of feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like I'm going plaid crazy because I just placed another order that had a lot of plaids in it, but that's from a different company for a different haul for another day. But yeah, that's this shirt. Um, let me tell you, oh, let me put my goodies away. So it has, um, so this side, the, the side that has the plaid detailing, it's, it's, it gives more of a flannel feel. But the side that is just solid black, it's giving more of a, um, what's that stuff? Uh, it, was a little, it was a teddy bear named after it. I used to have a book. Corduroy. Corduroy. That's the name of it, right? I think that's the name of it. But, um, yeah, it's giving more corduroy. Like, it has, like, a... Let me come close. It has more, like, a texture to it. But it's really soft, though. I like how soft it is. Everything in this haul is really soft. Um, but this is the last piece in my haul. I don't know why I'm buttoning this all wet because I'm going to take it off because it's hot in here. But this is the last piece of the haul. Yes, it was a short haul because <laughs> I'm really just trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, I do. I, I suffer from anxiety and depression. So I have a hard time getting motivated. I have a hard time getting out the bed every day. Um, finding a reason to just live. And um, that's another reason why I'm excited about starting this job because I feel like it'll give me a reason to get up. It'll give me like some sense of purpose. Um, it'll also make me a little bit of money. Um, yeah, I make money, but like the money that I'm making is not enough to like live comfortably. Like I get by, but I'm not comfortable. <sighs> so yeah, thanks for watching this haul. If you even got through the whole haul, and if you did, leave me a thumbs up in the comments. Leave some hearts. Let's tell each other we love each other. Let's give each other some inspiration, some up uplifting words, please. I could really use that. Some uplifting words, because lately I have just been feeling so. But that's all this video is about. Okay. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.